29 starts for CC last year. They do like to space it out and give him a break. There are some guys in the minors, and I think they'd probably stay the same, right? They could fill in Loisiga, Sessa, and they just acquired from the Angels Parker Bridwell, a 27-year-old right-hander. Yeah, an interesting uh, pickup waiver claim-wise by the Yankees. These are his numbers from 2017, Bob. He had the elbow surgery and didn't pitch much in the major leagues in 2018. But take notice of those numbers. Those are some pretty good numbers. He's not a strikeout guy. You see that he averages about five and a half strikeouts per nine innings. Really good curveball. So I think this was a nice under-the-radar move by the Yankees. You put him in that mix with some of the guys you just mentioned. Your six, seven, eight, nine guys in your rotation. Cecil, Loisica, Herman. A team is not going to go through the whole year only using five starters. So Bridwell looms as a nice piece of insurance. A guy who maybe starts the year at AAA, but a guy who you look for to get starts at some point because not everyone's going to go through the whole year healthy. All right, so in acquiring Bridwell and getting him on the 40-man roster, it cost them Ronald Torres. They traded him off to the Cubs to create that uh, spot on the 40-man. A lot of Yankees fans love Torres and what he brought, but if you like watching him, you might feel good about the fact that the Cubs today traded Tommy LaStella, so it looks like he will probably get some fairly consistent playing time. Yeah, and for all those Ronald Torres fans, and I know they're out there, here's the numbers he put up as a Yankee. The fact that he could play four positions and play intermittently and still put up those numbers. Here's what I have to say to those fans. Think of how much the Yankees thought of Bridwell. That a versatile and valuable player like Torres became expendable on their 40-man roster. It's not as if they didn't like Ronald Torres anymore. They just preferred to have that arm. They thought Bridwell could be more helpful. And they have some players at the minor league level, Bob. They have a glut of minor league infielders, guys that I think they believe can potentially do what Torres did. He'll be missed, really hard worker, extremely popular, not only amongst his teammates, but definitely with the Yankee fan base. And if the door is open more for him now with the Cubs, you would think that door is open on the Yankees' side for Tyler Wade, right? Tyler Wade will get more of an opportunity, absolutely. The Yankees speak very highly of him. They've always talked about the player that they've seen at AAA and whether or not he can become that player at the major league level. They say that he can. Terrific defender and a guy who brings that speed element. And when you watch Tyler Wade and he has the ability to use that speed in a game, you see why the Yankees are smitten with this guy and how he can impact a game with his legs.